Hello, it's time for yet another yapping from me, Felonius the Wizard. And I'm actually going for Swinglish again. I thought I have done everything that I could, but then I remember we have a civil war going on about Swinglish, or should I say Swedish, a special Swedish word. But before I can go there, I need to explain some major... Uh, Swedish rules about this and um, this is actually at the same time <coughs> a little bit of a hint to some uh, Americans that is living in Sweden and they say there is no rules we can ever learn Swedish well uh, Stefan Tyron Andrew Austin and Derek oh, I don't remember his name there is rules of course there's rules uh, but I'm not going to do them all. I'm just going to talk about vowels this time. Yes, there are some troublesome vowels. E and A is actually almost pronounced the same depending on where you live in Sweden. In Stockholm you just say E. Everything is E. If it's uh, if it's kär, which means in love, then then they, the Stockholmian says "sher." They don't really understand why. But never mind, that's Stockholmian, they are not real Swedes. One of the big things about our rules is that we have something is called hard and soft vowels. You in English have long and short vowels, which means that they are pronounced a bit different. We have that as well. Exactly the same thing as English, mainly because, well, English is part of the uh, pre-Nordic language system. And uh, when the Vikings came over and all that jazz, we have heard about that. We don't need to go into that. But we also have some sort of things that is called hard and soft vowels. Now the hard vowels is A, O, U, and then we have one of those that you don't have uh, sorry, oh, uh, it's uh, an A with a ring above. And then the soft vowels is E, I, Y, A, E. Uh. And A and E uh are actually an A or an O with two dots above, if you have a seed it. Never mind, you have bird, there you have the E uh word, we have discussed that before. Now, these hard and soft vowels actually has to do with some of the consonant in the beginning of a word. Short words. If it's a long, long word and it's probably someone that we have built together with other words to make a longer word. Never mind them. And especially it is the K and the G which pronounces differently if they are in front of a hard vowel or in front of a soft vowel. And that is the whole reason. It's it's easy. Uh, B might actually sound like a P, but that's more, no, more normal in the latter part of the word, not in the beginning. But you can hear it in dialects, of course. And this is all about it, right. Now back to the word in question, which may actually makes a civil war between East and West. Yes, Eastern, uh, Eastern Sweden is saying it one way and the uh, Western side, Western and South say it another word. The word is kex, shex. It's a different time type, it's a name for biscuit or cookie or the old word kaka. Uh, it's from the beginning, kaka. And as you can hear, that is a K with an R uh, afterwards, an A. And that is a hard vowel, so we need to say K. However, if we have a soft vowel, that's an E, I, Y, uh, A, and Ö, uh, we have to say CH. You have the same thing, but you spell it differently. Instead of C, you say it, put it a CH. That is not totally true, but you can see it. Like in uh, a chicken, then you have, there you have a soft vowel, then you have an I, you have CH. Uh, but if you're having a hard vowel, 
uh, a soft vowel but you need the hard k you use the letter k we don't do that we have the k for everything and that is actually our problem i mean if you are going to say ch then we have to have a, a thing for it the diff the big part of this is that we have so many different types of ch the same sound but we have so many different types of spelling okay back to checks now it's spelled k e x that's it kex or checks depending on which side you are on if you're on the stockholmian side you say kex and if you're on the gothenburg side you say checks uh, for me it's easy i'm a swedish teacher i have to go with the rules <laughs> so i always say checks because that is the proper swedish <laughs> way to say it and every time i say it or anything like that i get hate i, I actually i get hate over one single word and in, in swedish academy we have said both things are proper and the re main reason for that is that it if you go f to the pre-nordic language uh, when we had um, a bit of a, uh, both norwegian danish and swedish was sounding alike and icelandic i should probably say <coughs> then we ha would have say kicks spelled it k e K S, that is no X, because the four Nordic uh, language didn't have X, Z, and all that jazz. No O A uh, E uh, either. And that's exactly the spell that both I think Norwegian has it, but the Danish absolutely have kicks, and they call them kicks. They say K, despite its being a soft vowel afterwards, and that actually makes me think a lot. If the Norwegian and the Danish people didn't change to soft and hard vowels, why did we in Sweden do it? And that is actually more of the proper question instead of why are we having a civil war over something so simple like a biscuit? It's part 